Alright guys, so now that we are on the Movami Video Converter 2020 website that you can also find uh, the link to in the description, we're going to click on download for free because we're going to obviously use the trial. Or if you need a Mac version for the Mac users, you can just click on I need a Mac version and then it will take you straight to the Mac download website. So we're going to click on download for free, then it's going to prompt us the installer and we're going to just go ahead and, and install this and it usually takes like just a couple minutes. All right, so now that we are in the software itself, let's say that you have rendered out a video and that video took you two and a half hours to render, but accidentally you picked the wrong format and you don't want to wait another two and a half hours to render it again in the right format. Now, this is where this program comes in really, really handy because you can actually skip the entire re-rendering process and you can just drag in your video right here and you can convert it into any format that you want. So right here at the very top, it says add media. And you can also convert audio, convert images, for example, from PNG to JPEG or anything like that. So right now we're going to click on add video. Okay. And so for this example, I'm just going to pick my intro that I did for this video. So I'm just going to show you how to actually do that. Okay. So right now we have our video in here and it will show all the details, like how big it is, everything like that. So at the very bottom, we actually see all the different kinds of formats that we can convert it to. So let's say that you have exported your video into AVI and you want to render it out and you want to convert that to Windows Media Video, WMV. We're going to click on this icon and now everything is selected. So now we need to just optimize a couple settings. So right now we can, for example, put the file size to maximum, which is going to create the best quality, obviously, because you don't want to lose the quality that you have rendered out. So then the bitrate type is just going to be constant. It's not even clickable because we, do, we don't want to touch that. So then what we can do is we can, for example, like click on apply bitrate to all files files if you have multiple files running and then you can just close that out for a second obviously in this video you can choose if you have subtitles you have like a dot srt file and the audio is obviously 128 kilobytes per second stereo everything is good to go so at the very bottom it says save to where you can click on and will actually prompt as a location where you can save the converted file to and then we can just click on convert now obviously it depends on so many things like when it comes to like how long it takes because it depends on like how much RAM you have how much space on your computer like your processor everything like that and also how big the file is if you're converting like a 30 minute video it's not going to take like five seconds it can maybe take up to i don't know five or ten minutes it depends on your system and once it is done as you can see right now we can just open up movavi library where we will see our exported file in wmv instead of mp4 or avi or the original format that we exported to so and you can obviously convert multiple videos so let's say that you have rendered out like multiple videos in bulk and that you have like 10 videos you can just import them all 10 at the same time choose like the location for example also the audio quality and like the video quality and you can convert them all at the same time you can just leave your computer running and like i've mentioned you can just choose any format you want because if i scroll down as you can see we all we have tons and tons of different formats that you can choose from and it works exactly the same for audio so if you go ahead and click on audio we can have like mp3 you can have wav we can have all these different formats that we can choose from and it's really really cool guys and like i've mentioned guys what you can also do is you can have a video and you convert that to only audio for example like mp3 wav for a little higher quality so you can even convert videos to only the audio if you need that and what's really cool is that you you can also crop this video down from, for example, 1920 by 1080 to different kinds of resolutions. As you can see, it's really cool. You can convert them, crop them, switch them from MP4 to basically any format that you want in terms of like video, audio, everything is possible, guys. So it's a really short video, I know, but it's, this is just like a really, really straightforward program to convert your videos into the right format. Because let's say that you're giving a presentation and certain software that you use to run your video doesn't take a certain format. You can just export it real simple without losing quality so it's a really fun program guys the link is down in the description <laughs>